All right, let's continue our discussion on implications. Um, from last time, this is the quick check. So let's do the second one. Okay. Um, so let me define uh, E to be uh, uh, this proposition. You eat a lot. And uh, it, it, you do not have enough exercise. So let's call it F. So uh, F means you have enough exercise and the last one will be H so this sentence would be uh, if you eat a lot so if you have E and you do not have enough exercise so not F both of these would imply H alright now the last one will be a little bit uh, kind of confusing if you you need to interpret what it means by only if okay so you can get a from this course only if you work fairly hard so let's look at uh, let's try to look a bit further uh, on what it means when you say only if okay um, so for only if uh, let's look at uh, some example okay so you get a from this course and you work fairly hard so let's call this P and call this Q okay and you can get A from this course only if you work fairly hard now let let's think about the truth value of R okay so we are uh, the proportional form R consists of two variables P and Q so let's enumerate all possibilities uh, so true 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 false false true and false false okay so if you work if you get A from this course only only if you work fairly hard so what are the consistent uh, value with uh, P and Q okay so if you you get an A so in let's look at the first case first so you get an A and you work fairly hard right so this is okay with R so R should be true here now if you look at this case so you get A right but you do not work hard so in this case, if this this is true, if P is true and Q is true, then R cannot be true because R say that you can get A only if you work fairly hard. So this should be false. Okay. Now, it uh, let's look at the third example. Uh, this third case, if you have, in this case you do not uh, get an A, right? But you work fairly hard. So is this consistent with R? So R say you can get A only if you work fairly hard. But it doesn't say that if you work fairly hard you get an A, right? So this is okay. So we say R is true. And finally you do not get an A and you no, you do not work very hard. So this statement doesn't say anything about this case, right? So you get true as well. Okay. So in the end if you look closely at the uh, truth value of R okay you can see that it's the same as uh, P imply Q right so this is uh, what it means when you say uh, P P only if Q okay so only if is like uh, just an implication okay all right, so uh, it should be logically equivalent to P implies Q, okay? And when you have two uh, professional forms uh, that are the same logically equivalent, when we say it's logically equivalent, it means like they have the same truth value in all the possible cases. So we write uh, R equivalent to this. So this uh, three lines is the equivalent uh, operators. Okay, now let's go a bit further about uh, implications. Okay, we can now we we can have uh, when we say if p then q then it's if right, and you can say p only if q, right? So if we have both, uh, then we have uh, this is the equivalent sign. Lens, okay. So if if you have P and Q and we denote this by P 
uh, if and only if queues. So this is what we, we read, if and only if. Or sometimes we write shortly like p if and only iffq. Okay? So this means, uh, as, as uh, literally say, so it means uh, p if q. So this is p if q, right? And this p only if q. And n here, come to this n. Okay, so uh, what's what's the truth val value of this? Okay, so let's try to fi fill out this truth table. Okay, P, P implies Q. So what is P implies Q? So if P is true, Q is true, then it's true. If P is true, Q is false, then it's false. And the other two cases are vacuously true. Okay, so now Q implies P. Okay, so this is true. Not now in the th second case Q is false so this is true in the third case Q is true P is false so this is false in the last step uh, for false so this is true okay and if you add them and them up uh, and this too so you have true false false true okay so P uh, equivalence with Q or if and only if Q is true only when they have the same truth values okay which of course makes sense right so it's like equivalence they're gonna be equivalence if they have the same truth value okay so now we have an implications we have if and only if and there are some other terms uh, related to uh, implications. So if we have Q, uh, P and Q, and if we consider an implication P implies Q, okay, we can have as it converse Q implies P, okay. So if P is I own a cell phone, Q is I bring a cell phone to to class. P implies Q mean uh, if I own a cell phone, I'll bring it to class. But the converse say if I bring bring a cell phone to class. I own it, so it's it's uh, the the assumptions and the results are uh, swapped. Okay, the last one is the contrapositive of this implication. It's not Q implies not P. Okay, uh, so these two things are pretty closely re related. So you switch row, but then the third, the contrapositive, uh, you also negate the the variables. Okay. So let's work a little bit to try to figure out this for following truth table. Okay, I, I'll finish. I'll, I'll stop at this point to let you try to work out this uh, truth table, and then we'll come back in the next clip.